My name is Rochelle Castro, Principal of RC and Co. Lawyers. Most Owners Corporation fee recovery proceedings commence in the Victorian Civil and Administrative Tribunal, also known as VCAT, pursuant to Section 18, Subsection 2 of the Owners Corporation Act 2006. Previously, VCAT's practice in hearing fee recovery proceedings would require that both parties, the applicant's owner's corporation and the respondent's lot owner, attend the hearing in person. At the hearing, VCAT would hear the parties and their cases. In most fee recovery proceedings, the respondent's lot owner does not appear at the hearing, and the case is heard and orders are usually granted if VCAT is satisfied that the owner's corporation has provided sufficient proof to be granted an order that the lot owner pay the owner's corporation outstanding levies, interest, and costs. Most recently, VCAT has been issuing notice of hearing on the papers for fee recovery proceedings. In this type of hearing, VCAT provides directions to the owner's corporation and the lot owner, giving them an opportunity to dispute VCAT's decision to hear and determine the proceeding in papers by a date nominated by VCAT. Further, VCAT's orders that the Owners Corporation post an email to VCAT and the respondent lot owner, summary of proofs and any documents to be relied upon, including copies of the fee notice and final fee notice. Subsequently, VCAT orders the respondent lot owner to email and post to VCAT and the Owners Corporation a document headed Points of Defense, which sets out their defense to the claim, a copy of all documents relevant to the dispute on which they intend to rely in the proceeding, including written submissions in support of the defense. If the respondent lot owner does not file a point of defense, VCAT will determine the amount to which the owner's corporation is entitled, taking into account the amount claimed, interest, and costs. So if a party does not object to the proceeding being heard on papers by a date nominated by VCAT, notwithstanding points of defense being sent to VCAT and the owner's corporation, VCAT will hear and decide the fee recovery proceeding on the papers. That said, VCAT in its own initiative may decide that the hearing on the papers under Section 100, Subsection 2 of the Victorian Civil and Administrative Tribunal Act 1998 or VCAT Act is not appropriate. In that case, VCAT will notify all parties in writing and list the matter for a hearing by the most appropriate means at a date and time to be fixed by the VCAT's principal registrar. As a firm that regularly appears in VCAT fee recovery proceedings, in our view, the recent change in practice of fee recovery hearings in VCAT is progressive and will provide a time and cost efficient way for owners corporation stakeholders in receiving VCAT's decision on these types of matters. That said, we believe that the principles of efficient running a fee recovery proceeding does not change, which includes providing VCAT satisfactory proof that the owner's corporation should be granted an order for outstanding levies, interests, and costs. If you have any questions on all things Strata Law, please contact us, RC Co. Lawyers. Rochelle Castro, Principal of RC Co. Lawyers.